uh, preparations have gone well so far. Um, tactically preparing exactly how we want to approach the game. We know the strength of the opponent. We know where we can exploit them in terms of their weaknesses and uh, yeah, all guns blazing so far. But it's only Tuesday and still uh, uh, four training sessions left before we tackle the derby. And uh, just for Captain, happy Jelly, um, how's the preparation, uh, how have the preparations been like you're the longest service serving member on the squad? I'm sure you've experienced a lot of a lot of derbies and I mean that in the best of ways, you've experienced a lot of derbies. Uh, you also have a lot of new players um, that will be experiencing their Soito derby for the first time. As a senior player, um, how are you handling um, that just uh, in terms of preparing the guys and just the overall mood from the players? Uh, thanks, Tammy. Good afternoon, everyone. I think uh, so far so good. Uh, the mood is has been good. Uh, we've been working so hard these past two weeks, and uh, yeah, the new guys they they've been uh, doing well. Uh, they know what to do on Saturday, but uh, we take this game uh, one step, like each and every game on on the weekend. So we focus on it, and uh, everyone is motivated for this game. What should we expect from you from the study or from the meet, from the team itself, not just you individually? I think it's all credit to the whole team because the fire and desire that's sparking in the team has been one of a kind. So I can be as good as all my teammates and the whole team. So what you can expect is the same Orlando Pirates that's always wants to win a game at a time. So that's all you can expect from me. Andalyn's our goalkeeper, been inspirational at the back, making incredible saves, uh, and there's always big pressure that comes with the Soito Dari. Um, how are you preparing for that? And um, as a goalkeeping department, you know you have Jory Stahl there, you have uh, I see Mbonjane there as well. How are you guys uh, just preparing um, as far as the Dari is concerned? Afternoon, everyone. Um, I think I think the coach has said it. I think as Difficult as it may be, it's it's about trying to treat this week, this match, um, as a normal match. Uh, we know what it means to the supporters. We know um, the importance of the game currently with the with the league standings. Um, we know to at a, the you know all eyes will be on this game. But uh, I think for us as professionals, uh, we have to try and treat it as a as a as a match. Three points available to us, so. Uh, the focus just has to be on that and not so much on the on the occasion. Um, but so otherwise, the preparations have been going well. Um, we haven't done anything different. We we're just doing what we normally do week in and week out, and um, just looking forward to to the game on Saturday. We'll now open for questions from the floor, um, as indicated earlier. Please, by a show of hands, so identify yourself as well as the media company you represent. Uh, Mark Strader Marina Holdings. Um, but we that bit of air of fragility that's crept into Kaiser Chiefs the last two weeks, uh, the two big defeats, the pressure they're under to end four years without Solboy. I know you also have that, but they've also got a 50th anniversary celebration. I think Pirates know their 80th was very difficult sometimes to deal with. Um, Two questions. One, do you do you buy that Chiefs are becoming a bit predictable and are losing, maybe just cracking a little? The cracks are showing. And the second question, given how derbies go against form quite often, does that raise a few alarm bells? I think you have to zoom out and look at the bigger picture. Uh, Chiefs are actually the informed team. Um, they lost one game now in the league. The game before that they lost was against Supersport and uh, you know they've been pretty much consistent throughout the season, uh, hence their position. Um, the other hand is, do you really read into form when it comes to a derby like this? Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, their coach is experienced enough to be calm this week. I think his players will pick up if there's any change in him this week. Uh, he's experienced enough uh, and I'm quite well. He will be calm, he'll approach the, the game as a normal game, not leading too much into what is said outside. Um, and I expect them full strength, I, I expect them firing, I expect them playing to their strengths. And uh, it will be a really tough game. Uh, we have to be at our best to, to get the three points, and that is what it's about. Uh, um, 
to be uh, not for one second is going into the game underestimating Kaiser Chiefs uh, because they lost in the cup. Now penalties, no, no ways. Um, we know they are the team that's on top of the log, and we are a team that's only picking up form now, late in the season. So, so yes, uh, we'll approach the game uh, um, as we're playing against a team that's top of the log, uh, um, trying to get the three points, and, and that's it. Thanks, uh, Tsepo from ELCA. Coach, just quick ones. Uh, you just mentioned now that you just picked up form uh, towards the end of the season. Is it the right time to pick the form, looking at the fact that uh, after Chiefs lost to Marisbeck, it's sort of like a three-horse race for the league title. Second one, it does the fact that uh, we don't know who's Chiefs is number one in terms of at bay and who net. Does, does it play to your mind in terms of your preparing for the game? No, it's, it's quite clear they have a number one and that's at bay. I don't think they will change. Um, I said it before, form does not really matter when it comes to a derby. Um, we, that is why we're not going into the game uh, uh, relaxing because we've won uh, a couple of games in a row. Uh, that's that's not it. We approach the game as a new, uh, a new slate. Uh, it is a game, and we're not talking about title race at all. Um, the title race is, is for Kaiser Chiefs and Downs and and but West. Uh, we only and as our new coach came in, only focusing game by game, and uh, um, that's how we we've approached all games so far. And that's how we approach this game. We know the importance uh, of the game for the supporters, uh, for the pride, for the badge. Uh, but it's still three points at stake. And, and we'll approach uh, the game to try and get that three points. That's it. Coach Chair from Pico. Um, you joined about a year ago. Uh, you've been part of three competitive derbies now. Two different head coaches. This will be your third one. Uh, just sort of lessons learned maybe in the past three. You, you've yet to, to win a competitive so way to now be apart from the calling black label as part of the technical team just sort of lessons learned from from previous derbies uh, that, that you could take or perhaps share with uh, coach Joseph Zimba who will be facing his first now and then to happy uh, I think it's gonna be a 28th so way to Derby now um, what is what is it about the so way to Derby that that always gets people going uh, even though you've played so many do you still feel the same excitement as you did when you first when you played your first one? Yeah, I checked. Yeah, I played so many games, you know, and uh, I still feel this goosebumps each and every game when I play against Chiefs, you know, and uh, I think it still brings this back, you know, in South Africa because uh, there's a lot of things that we need to play for. Uh, the family, you know, uh, the people who died, you know, when they were watching the games. So it's a lot of emotions in terms of this game. But as a team, you know, we, we've been doing great so far. And I think uh, we're going to do well in this game. Yeah, the... The job is a is a special day in, in in South Africa, not only South African football. It's where the country stops, and um, our coach is experienced enough for having played in big big derbies uh, before in his career. And uh, there's no need to to tell him the the importance or, or what the derby is all about. Uh, he knows it. Um, but of course, uh, you, you get uh, special players uh, that come into the fore that perhaps have not been. Uh, um, in contention even, uh, they have the big match temperament, they have the, um, just the feeling for, for coming onto the pitch, not uh, taking care of the, the crowd, not being uh, overwhelmed by the experience, uh, and, and they just go out there and perform, and it's about finding those players uh, that can win you the derby. Um, I think history has shown uh, who those players are, but uh, um, like I said, uh, you, you get out there and you experience it, you're on the pitch, and the tactical instruction stops. It's out there on the players now. They cannot hear you. They cannot uh, uh, even uh, see you in, in the moment of the occasion. So uh, we have to prepare the players uh, ex exactly for what is about to happen, what could happen, and uh, what changes uh, they have to make by, by small signals. And, and that is what is about. And that's how we'll approach the game. Uh, uh, but like I said, the coach is experienced enough to be able to uh, know exactly how to approach this game, how to uh, handle a game of this magnitude. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
push a builder from the CDC. I, I don't know, maybe you've got something with you to attract Germans to work with you. <laughs> you've worked with, uh, with both coaches. And how would you describe um, the two coaches coming from two different eras? And also, if you can expand on your close uh, relationship, the bond that you also have uh, with the coach. Um, I think in, in terms of uh, uh, football school, they both come out of the same German school um, where a lot is uh, um, focused on verticality, um, quick counter attacks. And, um, so the football thinking and the football approach is, is quite similar. Of course, Lance has uh, changed over the years since I had him as a player and, and then started to work with him. He's always uh, kept up with the latest trends and always uh, uh, going into so uh, saying uh, Ernst uh, is the same when I when I met him to 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 what he is right now it's it's, it's definitely not uh, um, for me to say I haven't worked with him now over a couple of years and, and things he's done things he's picked up and things he's developed uh, is completely different to to when I worked with him so um, yeah personality wise. Uh, I think it's it's completely different. Uh, they each one uh, with a strong will, with a strong uh, um, organization skill set. What Germans are born with, um, but uh, both have the same uh, willingness to win, win everything. When it comes to a training session, and uh, you put your uh, the exercise to win in the exercise, the, the to win in every little thing they do. Uh, whether we're playing a card game out of it, whatever they want to win. And I think that is where they're both similar in, in terms of uh, always wanting to win. But uh, you cannot compare the two. It's, it's both good coaches, uh, completely different. But uh, when it comes to the football sense, uh, like I said, they both have their pro license out of the same university in, in Germany. So that is uh, quite similar. Uh, but of course, uh, um, um, they're completely different uh, in terms of personality, in terms of how they approach things, in terms of how they uh, set up their training sessions, uh, um, uh, but both wanting the same outcome, uh, of course, that is to win a football match. Um, so that's not uh, where you cannot compare them or set them apart. They both have that desire to win. Your relationship with Coach Melendo? Um The relationship uh, where it comes to uh, a match uh, like this is uh, we enemies. <laughs> um, of course, uh, he's, he's done a lot for me uh, throughout my career. He's, he's, he's taken me uh, from one day to the next, uh, or one day in the players' change room, the next day in the coaches' change room, and uh, I cannot thank him enough for what he's done for me. Uh, of course, we uh, in contact, uh, uh, not on a regular basis, but uh, always uh, at the end of the season, we'll sit down and, and discuss football, which is, which is normal. Uh, to discuss uh, the latest trends, to discuss football in, in depth. But uh, once the season starts, uh, um, there is no relationships. We are on different sides of the of the fence, and uh, um, uh, we keep that uh, professional relationship uh, to a distance, especially when the season's on. Thomas Hamel, Joseph from Sports Coach. Just a quick one. Um, you've worked with Sipesi uh, and in Marisberg. You've worked with Makarenga uh, next to you. Um, the adaptation that you've seen them taking here um, since you've worked with them at Orlando Pirates as a progression, transgression, how do you look at their form going into the Soweto Derby, knowing very well that it's a match that can make or break a player? Yeah, I think it's uh, quite different uh, for for each of them. And uh, it's, it's like that for any new player. I've worked with Tsecho Fatsu Mabasu. Uh, I worked with Cabellino Mahanga at Celtic as well. Um, and uh, it's, it's different for each player coming to a big club. Uh, some need more time, some immediately come in and, and can perform to the level. Uh, but uh, strictly in terms of fortune, and I've spoken to him before, he's not yet playing at his best. I know there's still more uh, that he has to unlock that potential within him. Uh, and the same with uh, Nglovo. Uh, um, He's only now beginning to, to settle into the environment, beginning to play uh, um, football what we know he can, but not, not near half his potential as well. So there's so much more to come out of these players, and not only speaking about Fortune and, and Global, uh, and new players that have come in, come in 
Kabelo Dlamini as well, the, the new players there of Kakabadinho, Mahango, Tsikhofatsu, Mabasa, uh, and all the new players. They need time to, to get used to the environment, to know exactly uh, what's uh, at stake at the big club. Uh, that's the first point. And the next point is uh, um, changing three coaches, uh, different philosophies um, in one season. That also uh, gives uh, the player a bit more adaptation time, more... Uh, um, a time to really show showcase their, their true potential and we have not yet seen uh, the, the potential of Cabadinho, Mahango, Cabello Dlamini, Tsikhofatsu Mabasa, Fortune Makaringa and Lovo, our, our new players that have joined the beginning of the season, we have not yet, there is still so much to, to unlock within them and uh, it's our job as coaches to try and get them to that level where they're playing uh, uh, to their full potential.